Shinjao Kakban, Toila Susan Burns, Tan Tang Lam Sho Hake, Titan Fo Ho Chi Min, Toi Ratan Fuk, Ki Bat Dao Niem Ki Kuo Min, Titan Fo Ho Chi Min, Nan Dam Va Sang Tao Nai, Toi Rat Mong Duk, Gap Kak Doi Tak Vietnam, De Tuk Dai Va Nang Tam Wan He, Sang Pum Hoa Khe Vietnam. I like that there's a lot of cafes where you can go and sit rather than just take away to have it like it's a nice tradition to sit you know and relax I think that's a good um, a good model we can uh, try to emulate in America I think there's a lot of similarities too between uh, Vietnamese people and American people I think the energy of young people is really similar this this city feels very energetic uh, entrepreneurial um, innovative and that reminds me of, of kind of the best of uh, youth back home. Um, I also think people are very hardworking here and that's also a trait that is, is common in America. So I see a lot of, a lot of similarities I and mean, I think that's why Americans feel comfortable here which is really nice. Yeah, I think we're really happy to see that we're emerging from the pandemic and just to see business is open. Um, I'm happy to see that it, it feels like um, the city is really kind of moving and thriving again, which makes me really happy. Our priorities, whether we're at the embassy in Hanoi or in the consulate in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, is to continue to build on the strong uh, comprehensive partnership we have with Vietnam. So we're going to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of that next year in 2023. Um, that's to build, you know, we want to continue to build our cultural ties and our economic ties. We really want to try to encourage our um, business ties, both you know, there are a lot of Americans who want to do business here, Vietnamese who want to sell the United States, we want to continue to encourage that so both of our economies can recover. But I, I think there's also about really important to continue to build on our great you know, cultural ties that we have. So I want to encourage more Vietnamese to go study in the United States um, and uh, hopefully see we more American tourists coming back to uh, Ho Chi Minh City. And then finally, um, you know, we're very encouraged by the Vietnamese government's uh, announcement about zero emissions by 2050. Uh, so we want to really cooperate in the uh, climate change and renewable energy space. I personally really um, uh, am passionate about environmental issues, so um, I'm really happy to see that, that there's lots of attempts to try to reduce the use of plastic. As a mother, I have uh, two uh, daughters, and so I want to have the, you know, a world that is um, cleaner, right, and greener. So I'd love to see that kind of initiative continue. So there's a lot, a lot I want to do. <laughs> but we also want to encourage uh, Vietnamese students to study college or university in the United States. Right now there's about 30,000 Vietnamese in the, in the United States studying. You meet them all the time when you're in the United States. We're hoping to really kind of continue to build that, that enthusiasm and momentum that's already there. We just kind of need to, to get back uh, post-COVID and, and try to um, kind of encourage more Vietnamese to study in the United States and then come back and bring that innovation, right, that entrepreneurial spirit that we talk about, um, the uh, wanting to ask questions and, and propose new initiatives. We want to bring that kind of back to, to Vietnam. That's, that's really going to help, you know, Vietnam's economy thrive.